in medicine, the doctors sometimes still prescribe to the patient the small, frequent meals, especially for diabetes. Is there a case that's valid? Um, I don't see why you would really want to. I mean, for some people, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not saying that it will, it doesn't work for everybody. Some people, perhaps it does work. They eat small, frequent meals. And if it works for you, it's, it's, it's perfectly fine. I have no problem with it. Mm -hmm. the, the, the thing is that if it doesn't work for you, then you should try something else, mm -hmm. right? And the whole thing is that if you have, uh, type 2 diabetes, if you have high blood glucose, your body doesn't have too little energy, it has too much energy, right? Mm. Your, the glucose is a form of energy for the cells, the mm. cells burn it for energy. So think about a car, for example, if you're trying to, if you have a car, you use gas because that's your energy for your car. Mm -hmm. So suppose you go to the gas station three times a day and you fill up on gas. Mm. But now your gas tank is full, but you keep pumping anyway. So the gas is spilling out, it's spilling mm -hmm. out, it's spilling out into your back seat. And it's making you sick. Mm -hmm. Well, what would you do? Would you go to the gas station six times a day? No, obviously <laughs> not. The answer actually is in the other direction. Mm -hmm. You need to stop going to the gas station. Instead of going three times a day, go once a day and drive that car around so that you use up some of the gas mm -hmm. so that when you go fill up, it doesn't spill, right? Mm -hmm. it, it, like that makes perfect sense. Well, your body's the same way. Glucose is a form of energy, sugar, right, for your body. Mm -hmm. If your body has too much sugar, too much glucose, mm -hmm. why don't you stop putting glucose into your body? It's completely... It, 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 there, there's nothing to think about. Like that's the obvious and correct answer. So if you don't eat, yes, you may be hungry if you miss a meal. I'm mm -hmm. not saying that you won't. I'm not saying that it's fun. I'm saying that it could be very healthy for you because what happens when you skip a meal? Well, your blood glucose drops, right? Everybody knows that, mm -hmm. um, but that's good. <laughs> Isn't that exactly what we're trying to do? So if you miss, miss a meal and we know that your blood glucose will drop mm -hmm. because your body's using that glucose, why don't you do that instead of taking medicines to drop your blood glucose? Like, how does that not make any sense, right? We have a natural solution mm -hmm. to this problem of excess sugar. Let your body use it. And same with body fat. Like body fat is a store of energy right? It stores calories. So if you don't eat, your body, if it doesn't have energy, will use that fat. Mm -hmm. That's why you have body fat. It's not there for looks. It's there for you as a source of calories, a store of calories. So if you eat, you can't use the store of calories, right? Because you're putting in, you're storing right. more calories. Right. So why don't you let your body use it, right? And it's not that and again, it's not that it's it's um, it's not that it's it's so much fun to do, or that it's it, it can be very difficult to do this. You know, cutting down the sugars, cutting down the carbs, doing the fasting, it can be difficult, right? Right. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that this is what's healthy for you. Mm -hmm. So it's, there's a difference because there, you know we need to tell people as a doctor. Sometimes I get this. I get this where people say, "Well, I understand what you're saying, but people won't do it." Like. My job as a doctor mm -hmm. is not to tell people what they can and cannot do. Mm -hmm. My job as a doctor is to tell people what is healthy for them. Mm -hmm. Whether they do it or not is their decision. They're adults. Right. They can decide what to do. Same as blood pressure. Mm -hmm. I say, you should check your blood pressure every so often. If it's high, you should get it treated. That's what I do as a doctor. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't tell them. You know, well, you can't force them to do anything. I don't force them to yeah. do anything. And I don't say, well, you know, people won't take their pills, so I won't tell them. That's, that's malpractice. <laughs> that's not the right thing to do. Same thing with the fasting. I'm mm -hmm. like, this is something that makes sense and will make you healthy. If you want to do it, mm -hmm. you, can, you can go here and, and, and do this. If you don't want to, mm -hmm. then don't. I don't really care, but I want to tell you the truth. That's your prescription. That's my prescription, yeah. exactly. Just like my, 
my, mm -hmm. you know, medicine for blood pressure. Mm -hmm. If I prescribe a medicine for blood pressure, you don't have to take it. You don't have to get it from the pharmacy. Right. I'm not telling people what they can and can't do. And mm -hmm. it, it, it always strikes me as very uh, paternalistic to mm -hmm. say that I know something that's good for you, but mm -hmm. I won't tell you because I know you won't do it. Uh, that's so wrong. I think it's completely wrong to do stuff like that. Right, I think right, you right. should tell people what they mm -hmm. do and let them decide for themselves. Some will do it. Right. Some won't. I accept that. Mm -hmm. I'm okay with that. If you if you hear me and don't mm -hmm. want to listen to my advice, I'm okay with that for yeah. whatever reason. I don't you no know. hard feelings for nobody. Exactly. No, <laughs> it's not my problem, right? It's your body. What I'm saying is that to not tell people is simply, you know, irresponsible. Mm -hmm. uh, as a, as a as a um, profession, mm -hmm. as a med as medical experts, it's it's basically quite. Um, you know, it's, it's very damaging to uh -huh. not tell people what is the option, uh -huh. right? Yes, you could take medication or you could use this diet I or you see, could use I intermittent see. fasting, uh -huh. right? Here's three options, like, you know, but nobody does that, right? Uh -huh. right. Even though if you look at the guidelines for type 2 diabetes, they say lifestyle and diet should be your first. It's right there, right? Right. Yeah. But but what doctor ever does that? What it's not being practiced. Yeah, it's not it's not being practiced. It's not being taught, mm -hmm. right? The medical schools it's are not, not being teaching taught. any mm -hmm. of this, so the doctors don't know, so they don't give it as an option. Mm -hmm. As a patient, if I develop type two diabetes, I would appreciate somebody saying, "You have a choice. You can do medications. Mm -hmm. You can cut down carbohydrates. You can do intermittent fasting. Those are your three options. Mm -hmm. You choose what you want to do." I would appreciate that mm -hmm. as opposed to I won't even tell you about the two dietary options mm -hmm. let me just give you this pill mm -hmm. right and it's like that's not good medicine mm -hmm. that's not way that's not a way that we should be treating people that's not the way we should treat each other as human beings mm -hmm. but isn't the definition of a medical doctor it means that you're a doctor with a uh, medicine <laughs> isn't, that, isn't that the option? <laughs> uh, yeah, I suppose mm. that's the way that the medical profession now sees itself mm. as they see their job as what pill should I give you or what, mm. what surgery should I give you? As opposed to what I think a doctor should be, uh, which is what treatment, including mm. diets, are going to make you healthier mm -hmm. and how can I help you? Right? I mean, that's the expectation from the public, right? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. The doctor give me the advice that's the best for my health, not, yeah. not from the, the choice between the drugs, right? Yeah, and unfortunately, this, this goes back to a lot of the medical education, which mm -hmm. has been uh, largely funded by the pharmaceutical companies. Mm -hmm. So, for example, uh, I've been to some medical lectures uh, for diabetes. Mm -hmm. And I remember thinking years ago, very strange, because you go to a, a general lecture on type 2 diabetes mm -hmm. and the expert would go up there and say, you know, the treatment for type 2 diabetes should be, you know, diet and lifestyle is number one, mm -hmm. diet and lifestyle is number two, diet and lifestyle number three. Okay. Then they spend the next 59 minutes out of the 60 minute lecture mm -hmm. talking about drugs. What about new drugs. <laughs> it's like, okay. Well, what's the message uh -huh. to a doctor in training, such as I was at the time? I the message is that we don't actually care uh -huh. about the diet and the lifestyle. Uh -huh. We only care about teaching people about medicine. Uh -huh. That's our job. That's our lane. We're not going to go outside that. But it does a disservice to the patients. I think that should be improved. Yeah. 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 Because, right. we, because we're actually responsible for health, mm -hmm. not simply getting the right medicines right right, right? and that's that's Those where are I two think different things right They're completely yeah. different things because mm -hmm. you know there are lots of conditions where you need medications i'm not against medication sure, i prescribe of a lot of medications and procedures like dialysis mm -hmm. but there's a place for those right. so if your kidneys fail mm -hmm. no diet is going to help you right. you need dialysis mm -hmm. if you have um cancer you know, a lot of them need mm -hmm. chemotherapy or surgery, mm -hmm. right? That those are the answers. In in other situations like obesity, like mm -hmm. type two diabetes, the medicines and the surgeries are not the answer. Mm -hmm. The answers are in the diet and the lifestyle. So you should focus your energy on that mm -hmm. because it's the right thing for the right problem. 
but the the problem is that we've we've sort of painted everything with a oh we're just going to give medications. You see uh -huh. it in, you know, uh, the the Ozempic and all the mm -hmm. weight loss drugs, and they're 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 useful drugs, right? They they do help people lose weight. So mm -hmm. I'm not I'm not against them, mm -hmm. but on the other hand, they should be only one of a certain number of uh, recommendations. Mm -hmm. But even even Ozempic basically is creating making you to eat small and the uh, having moment of fasting, right? Yeah, basically <laughs> makes you not want to eat. So the right. whole idea with... Um, stop eating. Uh, yeah, stop eating. <laughs> it makes you not want to eat, right? So it affects the brain predominantly and also the stomach. Uh -huh. It stops the stomach from moving the food through right. so quickly. So, if, you know, when everything backs up, you don't mm -hmm. feel like eating, right? Mm -hmm. If you're nauseated, you don't feel like eating. Right, right. So therefore, you stop eating. When you stop eating, your body's going to use its stores of energy, which is the glucose and the fat. And mm -hmm. again... It's it's a perfectly okay medication, but you can do it if you want to do it without the medication. Then mm -hmm. you have the option because you simply stop eating, right? Right? And is it as you know? Is it fun? No, but on the other hand, it's a lot cheaper and there's less side effects. <laughs>